I may not know much about today's movie, but I do know that simply calling it bingo makes it a notch more pleasing than a bingo of the geek maggot variety. <laughs> geek maggot bingo beach blanket geek maggot bingo beach blanket bingo. I just now got that! Bingo is that dog movie comedy that you never knew you wanted. <laughs> Seriously, not a lot of people knew they wanted it. This movie was a bomb at the box office and a flop with critics. Because of course it was! Like, I'm ever gonna sit here and say, this movie was a hit with both audiences and critics. Bingo is what happens when director Matthew Robbins, who directed Batteries Not Included, and wrote Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, Mimic, Crimson Peak, and Dragon Slayer, decides he wants to make a dog picture. You're gonna have a very weird movie. First off, they lied to me. They said this was about a dog. That's a horse. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Horses don't do that. Like this dog movie is gonna get anything right. It's produced by a bear. I'm getting horrible Caddyshack 2 flashbacks here. Or is it another shitty sequel? It is! It's Big Top Pee Wee flashbacks! Bingo is a circus dog. You can tell because he eats face cream. This is already highly inconsistent. He was a cartoon just a few minutes ago. But I do know one thing for sure. theme song stuck in your head for 24 years. Trust me. I see they're prepping the poodles for their tequila and Benetti orgy. And why is the circus run by Peg Bundy? Bingo is doing his chores by fetching some water. Did he just pull that out of his ass? Unfortunately, this is a slapstick circus. Don't know why this guy is so mad. That water is the cleanest thing in the circus. Well, you good for nothing. Flea ridden worm carrying cyst. Look what you've done. Um, excuse me. The horse's ass was just in the previous shot. The star poodle has hurt her paw from falling in Buffalo Bill's well, so Bingo is gonna have to be the star of the show. Why do they have reservations about this? He knows how to fetch water. And why dress him like a poodle? If he can jump through a ring of fire, no one is gonna call bullshit that it wasn't a poodle. Unfortunately, he can't jump through fire, but he can flashback. You know, to that time when he was a puppy in a pet store that was engulfed in flames. <laughs> His mother died. And was apparently the most popular dog ever, judging by the size of the tombstone. You know what this means. Can't jump through fire? Put a bullet in his head. Unless Pig can stop him. He just needs a family that loves and cares for him. A little boy to play frisbee with. No, I've seen that movie. It'll bring about the apocalypse. Also, this dog knows English. Find a family! <laughs> See? Who would want to kill this dog? You're right. Let's kill him. Whoa, 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 lady! You're shooting at a gold mine there! Plus, who the hell was the family in that picture? Now here's the boy of this boy and his dog story, Chucky. Ah, uh, what we found impressive in the 90s. Then what are you waiting for? Your farts to evaporate! And what we found insulting in the 90s. <laughs> Here, kid, let me help you out a little with your insults. Go, yourself, my friend. Go, yourself, my friend. Go, yourself, my friend. Excellent. Seriously, when am I getting my faded blue reunion? There, now you're the perfect level of 90s in order to make this jump. Or to be featured on America's Funniest Home Videos. 
Hey, look at me! I'm a child actor! I'm gonna make this jump! Oh no, now I've gone down in the mud! Hopefully a lost dog can come rescue me! Oh wait, is he gonna molest him? Oh, my mistake. He's gonna give him CPR. I forgot that's kind of a thing with dogs. <laughs> Bad news, kid! All your ribs are broken. This may look impressive, but Bingo is actually drying them because he just used the clothes as a toilet. You saved my life, didn't you, fella? He's also out acting you, too. What? Well, a bear? Oh no, it's the producer! Also, where the fuck do they live? <laughs> Holy shit! Suck him, Bingo! <laughs> I take back what I said about this kid's acting. That was a very genuine response. Meanwhile, back at home. More Chucky? I mean, Chicken Chuck. No, Chicken Chick. Chicken Chicky. There. And that's Cindy Williams not giving a shit about her lines. And I swear to God, if Colonel Sanders shows up in this movie too, why does this kid dislike his home life? His dad is Sledgehammer! That's amazing. Even if he has poor table manners. Oh, great. Great, huh? Great! First the coach, now it's you. It just doesn't feel right. No, no smell of vision. It's bad enough that Spy Kids 4 taught me what a robot's fart smells like. The bear is still there, so I guess they're gonna stay in the tree and die. There was a kid who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. O B I N G. B I N G rough. That's not how you spell Bingo. Chucky is gonna be in so much trouble when he gets home. I'm gonna rip his arms off. No, Hal. Remember, you said no more negative attention. How about one arm? What's with all the murder in this movie? They get home, but Bingo has more important things to do, like partake in ass worship. Awkward. Chucky is hiding Bingo from his family, but aren't they gonna wonder who's eating all of the dog turds? As if you couldn't tell, Chucky's dad plays for the Denver Broncos, and his car would be a lot more impressive if it were a Bronco. Bingo is let out to take a piss, but given that he can skateboard and play arcade games, I'm finding it hard to believe he can't use a toilet. He can read magazines too, but shouldn't this newsstand wonder who is buying dog porn? And another thing... What is the square root of nine? <laughs> he can also do math! Lassie couldn't even do math! Uh, hey, they included some of the reviews for the movie. This is gonna get messy. Whoa! God damn it! Rated PG! Finish your breakfast, Chucky. <laughs> no, seriously. Rated PG. And why isn't this kid more surprised by Bingo's powers? Bingo! <laughs> Don't you ever do that to me again! What, hide during hide-and-seek? You should be thrilled that he even knows the concept of hide-and-seek. The family is starting to figure out that there's a miracle dog in the house. Something got into my cold cream. And something chewed my citizenship award. And something soiled our driveway. Well, it couldn't be Bingo. Have you seen that dog? He knows how to build a fucking tent. Dad gets traded to Green Bay, which means that they have only 24 hours to pack up their whole house and move at the drop of a hat. Screw him. Don't worry, fella. You're coming with me. I'm back to thinking that the dog is a better actor than the kid again. Bingo goes out for one last night on the town. It's okay, he's over 21 in dog years. <laughs> so that's what it sounds like when dogs fuck. What the shit? Where's Bingo? They're gonna leave without him. Where could he be? Oh, that's why he can't make it. He's hungover! Bingo is too late, and they actually speed up to go faster than the dog, because otherwise he totally would have caught up with him. He's the T-1000 of dogs. Yes, there was a dog! Now stop the damn car! <laughs> 90s family pictures! Poor Bingo, all alone, causes a traffic jam, clearly because he's drunk. 
Maybe this cop should look into that. The fuck? I was being sarcastic. This movie is made up of actually doing all of my stupid jokes. It's okay, he'll be able to follow Chucky's trail of piss. <sighs> Again, I'm serious. He's leaving behind a trail of piss. Why doesn't Bingo just look the family up in the phone book? He probably knows how to use one. And this is where it gets dark. Spoiler! Bingo gets dark! While at a roadside hot dog stand, Chucky takes a leak and discovers the secret to their meat. They're capturing and murdering dogs to use for their hot dogs. Replace the dogs with people and this is instantly a horror film! In France, you know, they eat horses. And venison, that, that has a kind of a gamey taste, too. Oh, that's... Nothing a little mustard can't fix. It's a very reasonable final line to the dog version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Bingo, meanwhile, is rescued by hopefully a friendly face. Get us some chow, darling. A few more pounds and he'll be perfect. What the fuck? No one shut that place down? And who taught the dogs the prison mirror trick? This movie is so weird. I changed my mind. I don't want to know what's in Farmer Vincent's freighters. Cocktail Franks. It's not every day that I watch a family dog movie and expect John Jarrett to make a dog head on a stick. Of course, Bingo rescues the dogs, who set out for revenge. Nice dog. You are always my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were eaten alive. But the time has come for Bingo to say goodbye to his new friends. I'm not, I'm not crying. I'm just very happy they're not being turned into cocktail weenies. Wait a minute, I'm getting a feeling that this is a road movie. The next people he hooks up with are Kurt Fuller and Joe Gazzullo as a couple of thieves who instantly take a liking to Bingo. Hey, he's smart too, huh? You think he's smart for barking? Wait till you see him drive a car! Chucky is still very upset, but thankfully he has the support of his loving family. So pee pee all you want, but no dog can track you that distance! Hank already! Oh, but the dog can track him, because Bingo is clearly the canine version of Max Cady. Uh, without being a deranged murderer. <laughs> Everyone else in this movie is the murderer. See? Look at this! You got any chips, lady? The way this movie is going, they're probably gonna get eaten. And why show that to the dog? Obviously, he's gonna call the police and tell on you. Hello? Give me your pencil. It's Morse code. Whoa, wait a minute. This is starting to get unrealistic. In Morse code, he told them to bring every officer and everything they got. One move and the dog gets it! Well, there's a line for all of the trailers, as if that's really gonna do anything. Just charge the house! Whoa, Jesus! I want this movie to be over too, but shooting the dog is kind of overkill! Uh-oh, I sense a heartwarming moment. Bingo! I haven't forgotten you, pal! Don't give up, fella! No one can forget your line readings, Chucky! No one! Bingo moves in with the family he rescued, and this may seem bad for Bingo, but to be fair, he is played by a girl dog. At least he doesn't have to be a witness at the trial for the two thieves. What? <sighs> Your Honor, I object! This is a court of law, not a kennel! Overruled! You're a terrible judge! It's a good thing Bingo pointed them out, since there were no other witnesses. Don't worry, they'll put him in witness protection by making him Henry Hill's dog. This movie is making a mockery out of the justice system. Could we have the court reporter read back the dog's testimony? You're starting to lose me, movie. He clearly said, woof, 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 woof. I don't know what's worse, the fact that the defense tries framing the dog, or the fact that it works. 
Oh, I forgot. This is the courtroom from the loony bin and don't look in the basement. Why else would he get sent to a people jail? This is the part where someone tattoos a swastika on his ass. That mirror joke worked so well the first time. Let's do it again, but with people. But seriously, I do really think you should recreate that dog slaughterhouse segment, but with people. It would fit along with my show much better. Luckily, the prison is made out of dirt. Bingo gets a letter from Chucky, who knows Bingo's mailing address, but doesn't have any bail money. And why are they in prison if Bingo is being framed? If Bingo is a key witness, they should be separated. What kind of prison is this? Come and get it. Take a bite of this. Need a shave? Oh, so it's not a prison after all. It's a knife manufacturing plant. Who's doing all that barking, huh? And why do you all have knives? Look, shouldn't we know why Bingo's cellmate is in prison? I'm just saying, I'm glad Bingo is getting out, but this could be a child molester. Why is this prison so easy to escape from? It's probably a good thing that guy's being shot at. He eats babies! Huh, according to the map, this trip should be easy. There's only one road. Looks like Bingo will finally be reunited with Chucky. <laughs> As he knocks on the door with a severed leg. Oh, it's a cute doggy! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it was a porn! I fucking knew it! You can't fool me! I knew someone was gonna fuck this dog! Just kidding, he's in the hospital being put to sleep. Okay, fine. It was all just a dream. No more chainsaw videos before bedtime, okay? The hell kind of parent are you showing him chainsaw videos before bedtime? He still hasn't gotten over the dog slaughterhouse! And now he has to say goodbye to this person that I just met. Who are you again? I, uh, I knitted you a little something. Uh, it's a tail warmer. Bullshit! I know a cock warmer when I see one. Oh no, the wet bandits have escaped too. <laughs> what? All comedic para robbers were the wet bandits in the early 90s. God damn, this dog remembers everything. He remembered my earlier suggestion about reading the phone book. This truly is the world's smartest dog. Hey, Cap, what am I over here? Chop liver? Okay, okay, fine. The world's second smartest dog. The movie is 56 minutes in and Bingo has already found them. How does this movie continue for another half hour? Oh, right, because Chucky's a cheating bastard! Now poor Bingo must wander the streets and eat out of dumpsters. That is, until someone gives him a job. <laughs> Stay on your toes, babe. This mud looks ambitious. Gross! I know one restaurant that's getting a very detailed Yelp review. But I gotta say, that's the best missing pet sign since have you seen this cat because he's fucking awesome. Bingo is ratted out by the jealous co-dishwasher at the restaurant. That's a sentence I just said. The hell do they want this dog so bad for anyway? Well, if it ain't Mr. Whole Truth and nothing but the truth, flea carry turncoat snitch! Guys, what do you care? The dog's gonna be dead in like seven years anyway. Oh, this is why it goes on longer. There's a damn kidnapping plot. Think real hard, smartass. And he's gonna burn his eyes out with a cigarette. Why are they driving so slow? Uh, oh, it's so the dog doesn't fall off. They've kidnapped Chucky in an attempt to cause Chucky's dad to lose at the Packers game. I miss modern day family dog kidnapping movies like Max, which involved gun runners, exploding cars, and people falling off bridges. Even to this day, family dog movies are really weird. Hold the phone, they have dynamite. Since when is this movie a live action cartoon? They gotta save this kid. He's gotta go on to his next movie as Jack and Jack the Bear. Hmm. Must be related to the movie's producer. Good thing Bingo is a sneaky dog. What's going on in here? <laughs> Shut up. 
Shut up! What the hell is he giving the kidnappers clues for? You're warning them that the smart dog is there! Bingo tries warning the family by bringing them Chucky's hat and then a piece of his shirt. You know, you called 911 earlier. Maybe you should do the same thing again. And if the dog can get the clothes off of him, why can't he untie him? And why am I thinking so hard about Bingo? No one in 1991 did. Thankfully, someone informs the father what's going on. Tell me, what's more important to you? Family or football? Are you kidding? Football's my life! Well, that settles it. The kid's gotta die. At least I'm happy that this movie hasn't succumbed to lowbrow humor. No! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Ugh. Bring the dog slaughterhouse back. Chucky's older brother finds out where they're hiding, and seriously, someone call the cops before they start singing again. G-I-G-O G-I-G-O I get it! You know what the movie's called! There was a crook that had a bomb and kabooey! I stand corrected. That's not how the song goes at all! This has all the suspense of the remake of That Darn Cat with none of the Dougie Doug! It can't go any faster! You want me to blow the engine? You want my dad to miss another field goal? Always with the priorities, the Packers winning or brother dies. That's a tough one for terrible people. The warehouse catches on fire, and we can finally know if Bingo will overcome his fear of jumping through fire, which apparently must come up a lot. What's wrong, boy? Jump! 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 Nope. Kid's gonna die. I'm calling it. but his dad better not miss any more field goals. But there is still the problem with the bomb inside the suitcase and the kidnappers standing off with the police. Why is this still a thing? Make sure Devlin misses this field goal and we won't toast the kid! I'll think about it! Really? The movie had no problem trying to blow them away earlier. In fact, no one in this movie has a problem blowing anyone away. Bingo better get rid of that bomb quick before I make a Batman the movie reference. really surprise you if this movie ended that way. This movie chopped up dogs to make cocktail weenies. Not only does Chucky survive, but so does Bingo. And all of his friends are there to see him, including the criminals. Jeez, I hope your dog doesn't die. Good luck. Uh, I'm starting to think that this is a spoof movie. That would explain the kid's dead-on John Provost impression. Bingo! You gotta pull through. <laughs> I need you, boy! That means the kid's really not bad at all. And that probably means that the movie's gonna end on a nut joke. Can I keep him, Dad? Can I? Sure, son. <laughs> Just as soon as we have him neutered. <laughs> <laughs> I like the other ending better, thank you very much. Well, that was a very intentionally silly movie that took all the tropes of the boy and his dog genre and ran with it. I mean literally ran with it, all the way across country. This movie is the magic of Lassie, but with more dead dogs and less Jimmy Stewart singing. I don't like dead dogs, but I also don't like Jimmy Stewart singing. I like this movie better. Maybe this movie wasn't so bad after all. It played around with the cliched smart dog story, so much so that the dog literally knew Morse code and could drive a car! Why was I ever taking this movie seriously to begin with? That makes everything else I said in this review completely null and void! What the fuck?! Now is 
hamburger now he's not now he's hamburger now he's not 